Hey guys, cell phones don't cause cancer. I'm putting that right here at the top of the video, just like I did the last time I had to talk about this bullshit study, uh, and it's making the rounds again, so I'm gonna do it again. The Guardian has just published a completely ridiculous article claiming that scientists know that cell phones cause cancer, but the mainstream media is burying it because of big cell phone. So now I have to make yet another video saying that it's just not true. To recap, all of the all of this hinges on a study published in 2016 in which researchers took fewer than 100 rats that are prone to develop tumors and they blasted half of them with cell phone radiation. The rats who got the radiation blast developed tumors and the control group didn't. However, the control group died much earlier than the rats who got radiation, and the tumors were late-stage cancers. In other words, tumors that don't tend to appear until you're old. As I said in the last video I made about this, the big news should be that cell phone radiation makes rats live longer. But nope, that just doesn't fit in with the conspiracy theory crowd. In addition to that, the researchers were pretty blatantly p-hacking. Uh, they didn't go in with a hypothesis that cell phone radiation would, would result in two specific forms of tumors that would form specifically in the heart and the brain. Instead, they just blasted the rats with radiation and then looked at every possible result in order to find something that was statistically significant. Of course, they found it because when you're looking for anything, you're gonna find something. Cell phones produce radiation, and that is a scary word for the general public, but not all radiation is the same, and cell phones produce what's known as non-ionizing radiation. I talked about that in a video a couple of years ago, uh, so here we go again with that, when I discussed whether or not Wi-Fi can make you sick. Wi-Fi is also radiation, but again, it's non-ionizing. That means it's too low energy to pull electrons off of atoms. As far as we know, there is absolutely no way for non-ionizing radiation to cause cancer. We have absolutely no evidence of this ever happening. And as I mentioned in the case with the Wi-Fi, if cell phones cause cancer, then we would by now see a tremendous increase in cancer rates. But we haven't. Since cell phones started becoming ubiquitous in the 1990s, the United States has actually seen cancer rates fall by 25%. Hey, maybe there is something to that rat study. Maybe cell phones really do make us live longer, and maybe they do it by preventing cancer. But the mainstream media will never tell you that because... Because... Oh, I know, because big media wants you to keep buying their newspapers, and the best way to do that is to scare the hell out of you. Hey, I, I think I'm actually onto something here.